Right over there behind that oak tree is the boats, the steamers. I've got to walk right the way around there. So I've done quite a bit of the walk now. But it's not like walking on a flat surface. So you can double, if not treble the time you think it's going to take you. Because it's up and down, it's bumpy roads. It's beautiful, it's natural. Unfortunately, there's a lawn mower now. I'm just doing the last little bit of videoing. There's the, I can see some of the steamers. I'll just zoom in. And that will, I haven't got my glasses on, but the steamers are there. There's more hills as you go. Everywhere you go, there's hills, look. I don't know exactly the geology, but I'm wondering if it's Cambrian, this bit. I can't remember without having a geology map now, how these were thrown up. But at least the rain's kept off. Look at the views, though. Look at that. If only it would come out. It wasn't so misty. This, the, the, mind you, there's a special niceness about, um, or beauty, I should say, with mist. But it's whether the camera captures it. I mean, I can see it with the naked eye. The beauty with the mist shrouding the hills. Um, so there is a beauty in that. I don't know if it'll come out. I don't know if that will come out on the camera. That beauty of the mist shrouding the hills. I don't know. I don't know if it will. Somewhere down here there's the boat had the bluebird. Um, Campbell. Donald Campbell broke a record on this lake. There's a memorial to him down here, which I've mentioned on other videos. I mean, this must be video eight or nine by now. There's lots of very small ones. Sometimes they only last 30 seconds, but I'm keeping them all. They capture a moment in time. Sometimes it's good to do longer ones, so you get more of an idea of where you are. You see, if you go up here, you can sometimes capture, get off the track, you can sometimes capture a bit more of the area. And of course I had to drive up, right up into one of these hills with Alberta not long ago. And um, I mean, we did it, but, but I, I got in the wrong gear, which didn't help at all. So I got to remember um, to keep in the right gear, you know, get down in the low gears. And don't jump, don't get into fifth when you're halfway up a hill on a steep incline. She did really well. She's resting today. She's resting. Because we've got Scotland. Now, this is going to be a bit of an experiment. I'm probably going to follow the motorways. Because I am, I'm basic and worried about um, going round on a back road somewhere and ending up going up a sheer side of a mountain um, which you might not know about you say if you don't know the roads whereas the motorways tend to carve into the the natural passes so we've had a bit of a, an experiment here um, quite this giant big wasp or hornet in my camper van this morning. Now, I hadn't opened any windows or doors. So I just wonder if, it, if I'd spent the night with a huge hornet. Or is there a nest in my van? Because sometimes I heard a buzzing noise from weeks ago. Imagine if I had a nest in there somewhere. Like where the boiler is. Which I don't use, you see. And of course spiders. We've got loads of spiders. 
I wonder if you go down there. No. No footpath, campsite only. See, it is. They're saying about going across a bridge. Alright. I'm hoping it's going to come in a minute. Can't see no bridge yet. Anyway, yeah, in spiders. I killed um, a smallish black one, but there have been those little brown ones, like little red ants, um, which uh, I got some bananas the other day, and you hear about this, don't you, that um, the bananas are carrying these spiders. So there's loads of them. I've had to get some dental wipes and wipe the ceiling, which is made of carpet. It has helped a bit, and I've been putting this insect repellent on in my hair and in my arms and legs. And um, I didn't feel I've seen so many since I've done that, but I probably have to do that every day. The joys of camping. Yeah, like I say, tomorrow I really need just to pop in to see Eileen again. I really do. I don't feel that was two hours of her company. I don't feel that was enough. I'd like to spend more time with her than that, really. I might suggest we go up the pub, but because I can't drink and drive, you see. I don't want to drink anyway. At one point, again, this is enough. I was hoping I'd have one of them, the other. That's the only fault I've got with this campsite, is um, they said there'd be Wi Fi and they're in all the time, hardly ever. And it's hardly ever open the club. So, and I was led to believe there was Wi-Fi access all the time. So, so, from my point of view, they deceived me, and I stayed a week there, and thinking I would have Wi-Fi every day. And, um, so from that point of view, I ain't happy. So, right, uh, I haven't been able to transfer all my videos and photos properly. I mean, I've got them on disc. Good job I brought my computer and done it all like that. Everything has been stored on a big computer, and I've burnt discs. I need some more discs, actually. And um, But I wanted to get some stuff in the cloud. I tried doing some photos with the Android, and that one, they weren't very good, I didn't think. Right, I'm going to go off now.